So after Igor Fiontek shock loss against Coco Goff today, it confirms that Arena Sabalenka will be the year end number one for the first time in her career. Of course, she regained the world number one ranking only a few months ago. Like this time last year, she was trying to be year end number one, but Fiontek stole it at the end of the WTF Finals last year. But let's go have a look at the rankings. So you can see there with the live points that Sabalenka is now on 9,400 points, which is 1,300 points ahead of Sviantec, and that is too far for Sviantec to close the gap. Now, Sviantec can, if she does win this tournament and Sabalenka was to lose tomorrow and not win the semis, she could close the gap to under 200 points. So there is still a potential there that Sviantec could lose the world number one by only 200 points, which means going into next year, Australian Open, where Sabalenka has to defend those titles, that's going to be really interesting. But at the moment, Sabalenka, a huge advantage over Sviantec, and that is why she is the year in number one. Sabalenka, world number one, year end number one. She's going to be number one for a couple more months as well because it's probably not until the end of the Australian Open, realistically, that Sviontek can take back her number one spot. But Sabalenka, best player of the season, no doubt about that. She won two Grand Slams. She didn't even play Wimbledon, which is really scary to think. Had she played Wimbledon, who knows what would have happened considering that Krajikova won that tournament. Sabalenka wasn't around to even compete. So very, very interested to see how Wimbledon goes for Sabalenka next year. Uh, as well as the Australian Open, of course, defending titles at uh, the US Open as well. But, man, Sabalenka, what a great year. Deserves to be year in number one. But let me know in the comments below. How long will she be number one for? Do you think Sviantec will take it back after the Australian Open? I have a feeling that they're probably going to go back and forth for a little bit at the start of next year. But then remember, Sviantec does have a lot of points to defend on the clay. And Sabalenka also has a lot of points, but she could also make up a lot of points straight after the Australian Open in the Middle East and swing. So... It might be a little bit of a, a back and forth with the number one ranking for a little bit if Sviantek does take it back after Australia. But Sabalenka, year-end number one confirmed after the Sviantek loss today.